This is Castle Howard in Yorkshire, which has been home to the Howard family for 300 years. However, the land has belonged to them since 1566, when it was originally the site of Hendelskelf Castle and Village. It came to the family through marriage. The Howards became the Earls of Carlisle thanks to Charles II granting the earldom to the Howards after the Restoration. It was the third Earl who set about creating what we see today. Now he was a member of the Kit Kat Club, which was an early 18th century club set up for members of the Whig Party. The third Earl chose fellow Kit Kat Club member John Vanborough to design, him, to design a new house for him in 1699 which is very surprising since Vanborough seems to never have studied or been trained in architecture at all. He did have a close working relationship with Nicholas Hawksmoor, a former clerk for Christopher Wren, and Hawksmoor did collaborate on Castle Howard. Although building work began in 1700, it took a hundred years before it could be said to be completed and spanned the lifetime of three earls. This is the Great Hall, which really is Vanbrugh's masterpiece. It rises 70 feet in the air and was painted by Venetian artist Antonio Pellegrini between 1709 to 1712. It shows the four elements, the 12 figures of the Zodiac and Apollo and Muses. It really is absolutely fantastic. It's really breathtaking as you walk around the corners to see it for the first time. There's two staircases going either side of it. One way you go up and one way you come down. I'm just on the up there now. I'm on the balcony now, looking down. And obviously, we're under the dome shape when you're looking from the outside. This is the long gallery, which is 160 feet in length. In here are many of the Third Earl's books, four tapestries by John Vanderbank. Uh, paintings by Reynolds and portraits of the 17th century royalty. The gallery is really a space where all members of the family could take some recreation. This is the chapel. Unlike most great houses, they always had a, their own private chapel. It was severely altered in the 1870s and the stained glass windows were put in by Morris and Co. And the chapel is still used by the family for marriages, baptisms and funerals. Now we'll take a look around the garden now. In this part of the garden is known as the Boar Garden for obvious reasons. Now like a lot of these estates, you'll see gods and goddesses from ancient Rome, ancient Greece, uh, characters from mythology. So we'll see a lot of uh, that going around. Here's a fawn there of a kid. Uh, this is called the Atlas Fountain for obvious reasons. There's Atlas in the middle there holding up the world. It's a fantastic fountain, this one. There's another fawn here, dancing fawn, this one. The Ha Ha Walsh was behind there as well. I'm not sure if that one's Apollo. That one I think is the Apollo statue. That one. Looking back on the house now. And this one here is definitely Apollo. I remember seeing that, that one was called Apollo. Look, there's Hercules uh, fighting with the giant. We are now looking out over South Lake, which normally has a fountain playing, but doesn't appear to be working today. Like all the ponds and lakes here at Castle Howard, South Lake is artificial and was put in for the third earl in the early 1720s. However, the fountain derived to the 1850s. This is the Cascade, which was put in about 10 years after the fountain. This is called the Shepherd Boy and is the only piece not modelled from an antique. In the distance you can see New River Bridge and the mausoleum the third earl had built, which is still the resting place of the Howard family.
This is the Temple of the Four Winds, designed by Vambra. Originally known as the Temple of Diana, it was still uncompleted by Vambra's death in 1726 and wasn't fully finished until 1738. Used as a place to take refreshment and reading, it is an ideal spot to look out over the views. Another temple sits about a quarter of a mile down the wall designed by Hawksmoor, but this collapsed in the 1940s, and this one was restored in 1955.